Okay. I'm going to show you how to customize your um, screen resolution with an um, ATI or AMD graphics card. First, you want to right click and go to the AMD control center. Click on information. This window might be different if you have Windows XP because it's not the Windows Vision Engine Center. But it's still the same, just go under information and click on software. Then um, type in Reg Edit. Open up your registry. This right here is the reg um, your display driver's registry key. Um, first, it'll be under local machine software. Oh no 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 no! Not software. Under system control set one control class. This uh, this next folder is um different to every single graphics card because it, each graphics card has a different registry key. Okay, it took a little while to find it. So you gotta open this up. Make sure you click on the right one. All of these have almost the same properties. As the same looks on every single key. Make sure you're under the right folder, which mine is this one. Click on the do not open up the just click on the zero 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 folder. Scroll down. Look for um DAL non standard modes D C D don't matter which one you use. On VCD one, two, three. The one you're get, that you're gonna use. Hit edit. Uh, no file. Export. So this is creating a backup. I had mine backed up. Then, okay, when you have the backup made, next you want to, um, this is a pretty weird look on how you have to edit this. This, each column uses two numbers. For the first column, the first two columns are, um, the width of your monitor. The next columns um, three and five are the length, how high it is actually. Um, these three uh, columns, five, six, and seven, have to stay at zero. And the last column is your refresh rate. Make sure you do not go exceed passing your monitors um, refresh rate when you select this um, like if you take the resolution way out of your monitors um, standards it'll end up as a black screen if this occurs when you restart the computer um, like when you restart your computer and it boots up and all you hear is the sound and no screen boot into safe mode and apply that um, backup you just made. And restart your computer. For me I'm going to put my display size as my maximum how my monitor could withstand which is 1600 by 1040 0, 0, 0, 0 by 60 hertz. Hit OK. Close out of it. 
now after you got that done now you want to restart your computer I'll be back in a minute this okay after you've restarted your computer you right click go to your AMD control center go to your display it'll be different for everyone who uses the HDMI or VGA or DVI cable go to your display property displays uncheck this if it's not already select the resolution higher than your custom hit apply the screen will flash close out of it next it's extremely crucial not to do to if you update your drivers frequently like every month you will have do not set your desktop as your custom resolution or select the setting of, of your custom resolution on the AMD control center because when you restart your computer after you've done the driver update it'll what it actually does is it erases your custom um, settings and if you reboot your computer, it'll appear as like for some people, it'll appear it as a black screen or um, a they'll just get the error message, but they'll still see their display. If you get the one that still shows the display, you can still reconfigure back to the how you did it early, how I showed you how to configure your settings back to its original regular to your custom resolution. But for those people that have have the black screen, they have to boot into safe mode and redo their settings there in the registry. I recommend not using because you have to actually have them in the exact same order. If you have them different, it will not work out correctly. So do not have a whole lot of custom resolutions. I recommend only using like one or two. For a test, I'll show you with, um, let's see, I know if I change my resolution, my um, recording software will possibly crash, so I'm not going to actually test it, but I know it actually works. For me, even though mm, no, I don't want to change it, don't know how the recording will show if I do change the default resolution. This is how it looks for me. I'm gonna hit revert. Okay, thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment. If you lately, I'm not going to be making any videos for a while after the holidays. If you guys have any computer issues, please leave them in the comments. I need to find more ideas on how to solve um, computer issues. It would help out a lot. And I'll do the research for you if it's um if the issue is so good I'll possibly make a video on it mm. Mm. see you till then